Hi guys, it's Mozzieville and welcome to Season 8, Episode 7 of The Impossible Dream with Violet Town. And today we're playing Connor's Key in the league and then we host Juventus in what is basically become a bit of a must-win game in the Champions League group stages if we have any ideas uh, that we might get out of the group, even if getting out of the group just means parachuting down into the Europa League. But I thought we'd start today by having a quick update of the club dynamics, because uh, I don't think we've done it in a little while, certainly not this season anyway. And you can see everything is, excuse me, is really, really good here. Um, so that's excellent. The hierarchy, uh, we have our team leaders in Dixon, who of course is club captain Burke and Rima Miles. Um, our vice captain, uh, Curtis Owen, who is... Potentially as well. We know he's a good, he's, you know, leadership-wise and teamwork-wise, he's a good leader. He's just maybe still establishing himself within the team. So hopefully he'll kick himself up a little bit. In terms of managerial support, it's only Brewerton that doesn't necessarily support me right now, and that's fair enough because we bought him in on loan and barely used him basically. So that's uh, again, as I said, that's fair enough. But otherwise, we're a happy squad. Um, the social groups. Ideally, we'd have these a little bit more together, um, especially because there's a secondary group here that has some important players uh, in it. But basically, we're a together club, which is really, really nice. You'd expect that with sort of the level of success that we've uh, that we've had. Now, we've got two games to catch you up on since last episode. Uh, the first one is against Aberthwith Town. We went in front inside the first minute when Adam Maurice crossed for Damien Ormark. And we're 2-0 up after five minutes, thanks to Jay Jenkins. Abbotsworth pulled one back in the second half, but we held on for the points. So this was a really, really strange game. We got two goals in the first five minutes, and I thought, oh, we're going to run up a cricket score here, and then we just we just stopped playing. And to be honest, in the end, I was relatively happy to leave with the three points. So Walmark and Jay Jenkins got the early goals, and then and then nothing. It was it was just bizarre. Anyway, the next game to catch you up on is a League Cup Welsh League Cup quarter final game against Carnarvon. Are we in the semi-finals or did we do another Iron Brew choke? We went in front early in the second half when Jay Jenkins' shot was too hot for the keeper. And quickly doubled our lead through Michael Swift. Before Tommy Dudzinski secured the tie. So this was a much, much better performance. We did get through. We're playing the New Saints in the semi-final. Uh, but Jenkins with a second goal uh, in, in two games there. Swifty and uh, Dudzinski with the goals as well. Uh, we did play a strong team in this one. And it was a good performance from a strong team as well. So, uh, yeah, really, really happy to get the points in that one. Um, and if you have a quick update of the uh, league tables, you can see New Saints have gone back ahead of us by two points. But we do have three games in hand. So nothing too much to worry about there. Our opponents today, Connors Key, are sitting just above the relegation zone and we can see the Champions League table there. Besiktas beating Real Madrid last time out is devastating to our chances of uh, being in Europe after Christmas so we at home we really do need to try and take something from Juventus if not the three points. It's going to be very very tough indeed. But let's have a look at what we're doing here against Connors Key first of all. We are the favourites for this one as you would expect. Uh, they are a Damien Broad coached team. A uh, 35 year old Welshman. We can see there he's, he's decent. He's a decent manager at this level. Um, they're an attacking, passing, playing style. And if we have a quick look at what we're expecting from them here. We don't actually know too much. We're not expecting this sort of a formation though. We're expecting sort of something similar to uh, to what we play with the number 10. So this is a team we're sending out. Obviously we do have an eye on the Juventus game in our team selection here. So Rima Miles is in goal for this one. It's Burke, O'Halloran, uh, KDH and Sears who was of course suspended having been sent off again um, for the Champions League. It's Owen and McVeigh in midfield. It's Baker, the young winger who is just developing and developing and developing. <laughs> Look at that dribbling of 16. He ties defenders in knots in this league. It's uh, Ryan Murphy and Maurice down the left. All Mark goes up top. All Mark goal update. He needs 70 to become the top goal scorer. If he, he can set a club record and do it this game with five. Um, though, to be honest, it's a little bit unlikely. And injury news. Annoyingly, ahead of the Juventus game, Connor Gosney has injured himself. He's got a gashed upper leg. He's three to six days away from coming back. The Juventus game is in, uh, is in three or four days. So, yeah, he's going to be pushing it to make it. So, hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. He heals quickly. All right, and here we go. We are matching up man for man. This is what the scouts were suggesting. So, that's good. They've got that one right, which is excellent. Uh, and let's see if we can go and uh, put on a good score here. Pick up where they left off. I'm really... I'm, I'm noticing our performances aren't quite as good this year. Uh, and I'm wondering if I need to adjust the way I'm talking to the team. So I'm going to try that <laughs> live on YouTube, which is the best time to experiment. Uh, go out there and impress me, boys, with a little bit of passion. Let's try some calm. We have faith. And see if that... Anything. Just to try and and kick us on a little bit. As I said, I'm wondering if... Um, we're getting to the point now where just sort of calm or I have faith is not necessarily working. So we'll try a bit of passion before the game, see if that helps us at all. 
And if not, we might need to start um, maybe having more expectation. But whenever I've said in the past, I expect a win today, which I do, you know, 99 times out of 100 in the league. Maybe TNS away is the one game that I don't expect to win. There's a decent ball. All marks there. All marks sticks it away. A 13th goal of the season for him. We're 1-0 up after three or four minutes. And that is the perfect start to the game. We'll tell him to concentrate. All mark is four goals away from the record now. And, well, it was it was, it was was a nice ball into the box, wasn't it, by uh, Murphy. And it just kind of fell right. It was a decent defensive clearance. I don't know there's too much more he could have done there, to be honest. It's beaten the keeper. Is that one of our old goalkeepers? We had quite a few Garmies at one point that were goalkeepers. I think he is. He did used to play for us. I'm almost positive. Um, yeah, so there we go. Once a lakesider, always a lakesider. Sears with the throw in. Baker has it now. Back to Sears. Let's see what he can do. He's, he's almost, he well, certainly played himself out of the European squad at this point, hasn't he, Ryan Sears? I just don't think we can keep picking him if he keeps getting himself sent off. Sears over the top there for Baker, especially when we won with Jenkins at right back. Baker, can he get across? And he can. All marks there. It's headed away, though. And we should pick that up with... Oh, and if he goes for it... Come on, mate. You've got to go and get that. He's club captain today as well with uh, being the, uh, the the vice captain with no Dixon on the field. And you've got to show a bit more heart than that. Here we go. Can we get a bit of pressure on the goalkeeper? Lumps it forward. It is one in the air. Nicely there by Burke. Murphy plays it forward to Maurice in space. Can he find a cross? Adam Maurice. Back post. It's there for, it's there for Baker. And Baker sticks it away. The youngster gets his fifth of the season. McVay with the assist. It's 2-0 after seven minutes. And, well, this is... I don't want to say it could be anything, because we saw this against Aberthwith Town. We were as many goals up in half the time, and then we just clocked off. Hopefully, though, nice bring down there, wasn't it, by McVeigh on the chest. And, uh, yeah, that was a really good goal. But hopefully this time we can go on with it a little bit more. And, um, yeah, help the goal difference a little bit. Uh, we do have some players on the bench. I wouldn't mind giving some game time to Maurice with a corner. Not the best. KDH picks it up. Back out to Maurice. Edge of the area there to KDH again. Send it back with the cross. All mark off the crossbar. It's still there for him. No, it's not. And Connor's key bring it away. Can we win that ball back or are we going to get hit on the break here? Sears is back. Does a really, really good job there. Why can't you do that in Europe, mate, instead of getting yourself sent off? All right, Burke now with the throw. In there for Owen. Back to Burke. He gets a ball in, looping towards the back post. Goalkeepers had an absolute nightmare. Baker has a second. Sixth of the season for him. And I'm going to say, Garmi, that's why you didn't make it at Barletown, if you were wondering. That was horrible, horrible goalkeeping. Absolutely nothing on a long, high, looping cross. He's got all the time in the world to come and claim it, and he just kind of flots a squad, a fly, doesn't he? But good finish by Baker. Nice composed finish from a tight angle there. That's 3-0. That is almost certainly the game. And this passionate team talk just might have something to it. Uh, we do want to give Felge and uh, Davies a game. And I'll tell you what, we've probably earned ourselves in that Gareth uh, run out here too, haven't we? If we can, well, The problem now is Baker's on a hat-trick, of course. Um, if we can get him his hat-trick and then maybe bring up Gareth on. Uh, we might bring up Gareth on anyway, to be honest. We're looking complacent, which is never great, but we'll take it at 3-0 up. And uh, we'll tell him at half-time to keep going. And hopefully... Uh, yeah, don't get complacent, boys. And, of course, you are all looking complacent. Some passion that we have faith for everybody. And, yeah, I wonder if Allmark can get himself a couple of goals here. That would be nice. We'll give we'll give the, the youngster a little bit. He's switched off now. We'll give him a little bit of time to see if he can get his hat trick. But we'll make some changes relatively soon on here, I think. We might even look to go two up top. Um, yeah, maybe take Murphy off. Because he is someone potentially that could be useful on the bench in Europe as well. Uh, so there we go. That's the hour mark. So let's take him off and we'll put Felge up top. Uh, we might want the youngster out in the left wing. And we want Ap Gareth out on the right wing. And let's see if we can uh, get some more goals in this second half. Now I do need to make the tactical switch here as well. Uh, with Felge going up top. And target man on support. I think I showed you him last episode. He's just developing so, so well. Uh, hopefully, he's not going to be like the other Scandinavian we had in... Um, what's his face? Gretelsen, where they, we just kind of lose him as he's, as he's establishing himself in the team. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if we've got 1.6 million for uh, for Gretelsen, then we'll get a lot more than that for a striker, won't we? But he's, he's still got a little way, and Owen's injured. And now we're down to 10 because I can't make another sub, can I? All right, McVeigh, well, I hope you got your running boots on because you've got a lot of around the cover there in midfield. We'll give him some praise and, yeah, not ideal. 
<laughs> not ideal at all. They may have get stuck in on here as well, you, you would suspect, with so many bookings. Um, yeah, we probably want to exploit the flanks, don't we, if we've got everybody out there? Or if we've just got McVay in the middle anyway. But, so yeah, second half, not really gone to plan, has it? Inadvertently down to 10 men, no goals, but we got our work done in the first half. A good performance all around there, and can we cap it off with a late goal here? We put a bit of pressure on. Uh, if they had any brains, they'd be attacking through the middle, which just looks like they're doing. Go on, McVeigh, you can do it, mate. Can you get a tackle in? He's more, made them go backwards, which is not bad, to be honest. Put a bit of pressure on the defense there. Lumps it forwards. No one's there, but you wouldn't expect it, because McVeigh has pretty much half the pitch to himself to cover there. Edwards cuts inside. What we don't want is to concede a late goal here. And Olmark has that. Can we get them on the break? We've got about, what, 40 seconds to play here. Looping ball forward. The goalkeeper claims it. Gets it forward quickly. We win that. Ab Ab Gareth has it. Can Ab Gareth play in Felge? He can. I think he's on side. Felge. Oh. Just past the post. I'm pretty sure the fullback over here was playing him on. So I think it would have counted. But that should just about be that. When you're ready, umpire. Uh, umpire? That's baseball. When you're ready, uh, ref. We've had enough. They've had enough. And what we don't want to do is have conceded goals. So I have to edit in the... Uh... <laughs> Connor's key replay logo. But there we go. A solid 3-0 win. Um, yeah, well done, boys. We'll, we'll give you a bit of credit for that. Unfortunately, the boys that came off the bench didn't really get it done for us, did they? The injury is... Oh, it's not. It's a bit of a bad one for uh, for Curtis Owen. Four, four weeks to two months. That's a shame. Um, especially being a young player who is just beginning to show signs. Uh, you know, he's still a three-star, three-and-a-half-star potential player. So... That's that's gonna set him back a little bit, but you know we have we have a deep squad for this reason. He'll somebody will come in, take his spot, and uh, we won't miss a beat, which is fine. Guys, wait right there. We have Juventus next. Can we do anything against the Italians? Okay, welcome back. We are about to host Juventus. We are not the favourites, but I tell you what, seven to two. That's not too bad. Uh, no, of course we've only played them the once, which was last time, and they beat us three to one. I think it was, wasn't it? Um, now already today they've already played the Real Madrid Besiktas game. Real Madrid won that one, um, which again is annoying, but we, we probably rather than beat them because I think we're more chance of beating Besiktas than we are Real Madrid. Uh, so if we can take something from this game, then we find ourselves level on points with Besiktas again, and that is probably where we want to be. Um, let's have a quick look at what we're expecting here. We did see in last episode, of course, they're a Julian Lopetegui uh, coach team. Uh, they're an attacking, adventurous, uh, passing style of football. We're expecting them to come out uh, actually with a DM rather than a number 10. So a little bit of respect for us, perhaps. You can see here they, they won the game quite comfortably last time in Serie A. This is a yeah, very, very attacking looking play from them. Um, we can't see how we did against them last time. They are currently winning Serie A as well. So um, it's a tough one, this one for us. It really, really is. But we're going to have a crack at them because I just feel like we're just, I don't know. We, we didn't do anything against them away from home trying to be defensively minded. So we're going to have a crack at them. Gosney hasn't quite made it. Um, so I've gone with, uh, we've gone with him on the bench and we'll kind of, we'll see what happens from there. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you actually before we get to this is... Uh, the under-19s, look at this. They're flying again. They've beaten Juventus in Juventus with a missed penalty as well. Now, this was a strong team. <laughs> this could easily play in the league for us. Um, but yeah, it was it was a good performance uh, nonetheless. And that puts them, as you can see, top of the group uh, with two games to play. So the under-19s continue to do us proud. But Rima Miles starts in goal for this one. Mullenstein, Swifty, Topley comes in for the injured Gosney. Um, he's a good solid uh, player in the air so hopefully he'll um yeah he'll get the job done for us there with Jenkins at right back with in for the suspended um suspended Sears York and Dudzinski go in midfield again it's Connolly Dixon and Martin with Jackman up top oh let's go beat the Italian shall we so yeah they have come out with a DM which is a little bit uh, surprising perhaps but it just might will hopefully mean that uh, Dixon will uh will, will, will do a job there for us um we should go out there prove a point today I'm going to say I did in the uh, in the pre-game press conference build up the revenge aspect of things. So let's go with a little bit of passion with that. Some calm, we have faith. And let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I just feel like, um, you know, we're, I don't want to say bitching out a little bit, but we're, we're defending and we're not, we're not, we're not getting at teams when we, when we do that. Uh, whereas we saw in qualifying when we went with a number 10, we could, we could, we were scoring a lot of goals. Um, so I do wonder if maybe we're underestimating or I'm underestimating what we can do a little bit too much and maybe paying opposition a little bit too much respect, especially at home. Um, 
I would like to try and have a go at them, but we can see here that Juventus are very much on the attack. Corner flag keeps that in for them, which is annoying. Um, can we get the ball back here, I wonder? They're sort of just pinging it around a little bit. Jorginho across there for Schrift, I guess you'd pronounce that. Back to Jorginho. That's uh, the Jorginho at Chelsea right now. He must be getting on a little bit. Ball down the line there for Correa. Can he go? It's gone behind. Has it for a corner, a goal kick, a goal kick. So in the end, a decent enough job there for us. Uh, we haven't touched the ball yet, which is frustrating. Um, let's give it a, maybe a get creative. See if we can do something here. They've only had one shot. We've, no, now, we go. now we've had a shot. And is this going to be a Barla Town highlight? Here we go. Jenkins with the throw. In there for Dixon. What can he do? Ball there for Jenkins. For Dudzinski. There's a decent ball. You can see what he was looking for. Oh, Jackman's picked it up. He finds Callum Connolly. Callum Connolly! Oh, 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 what a chance! And Callum Connolly, who's been scoring for fun in Europe all season long, has missed a sitter. And is that going to come back and haunt us? We should be 1-0 up. Topley with a ball out there for uh, for Connolly. What can he do? Come on, mate. You owe us after that. Here he goes getting forward. Can he get across here? And he goes himself. And Callum, mate, you need to relax. That wasn't a shooting opportunity for you. Um, all right. But positive signs. We're actually doing okay here. We're actually doing okay. Look at this. We're uh, giving them a game. We'll demand a little bit more coming into half time, And that's been pretty good. Uh, what do we want to say to that? What do we want to say to that? Um, unlucky boys? Uh, not, uh, not happy. Let's see if we can motive, kick them on a little bit more. The individual match ratings aren't great. Let's ask for a little bit more from them. And again, a point here against Juventus would be absolutely huge. But I just get the feeling there might be a little bit more on offer here for us if we want it. Um, Connolly's not having a good game. Martin's not having a good game. Uh, all right, so let's make some changes. Let's get Adam Maurice on for Martin. And, yeah, that kind of is what it is. Do we, do we want to do something a little bit different tactically, I wonder? Um, I did lower the tempo for this one as well, which I think we've been doing anyway in previous games. Um, but we were playing, obviously, in the European uh, formation that I have saved up there, not the uh, not the races, the regular league formation. All right, Juventus have a throw. Can we win this ball back? Come on, boys. Jorginho has it. Have they pushed him a little bit further forward, I wonder? Schiff, across there. We should get to that. No, Connolly doesn't. Mendy has it. Back to De La Vega. To Mendy, to Aurea, who of course got the goal, or one of the goals against us in the first game. Oh, and Rima Miles has not moved his feet. And it's 1-0 to Juventus. Oh, boys, 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 boys. It's the pretty, well, apart from that highlight early on in the game, it's the first highlight we've seen. It's just come back enough, hasn't it? And not given Rima Miles a chance. And that is is a big, big disappointment. Another highlight. Now, can we come and get them straight back like we managed to in uh, in Juventus, I wonder? Well, technically, it's, I guess it's in Turin, not Juventus. But here we go. Put a bit of pressure on here, boys. What can we do? Pressing them high up the pitch. Um, long ball forward to... Yeah, there's no one there. They're, they're, this is this is, this is is not great. Dudzinski with a tackle. Connolly's there. Can we win the ball back? No, we cannot. And... They're picking us to pieces a little bit here. We should get to that, shouldn't we, though? Oh, we don't. Mullenstein misses out. It's ball to the back post. It's scrappy, but it's still dangerous. Mullenstein, no, that's a terrible header, Mullenstein. And Rima Miles, it goes straight through him. And just like that, we're 2-0 down. That's the game. And we've, we've given them that one, haven't we? Mullenstein with a couple of errors there. That is a horrible header, and Rima Miles has got to be doing better than that. And there we go. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going with a tactical change. I don't know if everyone know what change that was. Um, all right, we need to change something here because it's not it's not quite working right now. So let's try the two up top. Um, so that's going to be it for Callum Connolly. We will bring on. We won't bring. You know what we'll do? Actually, we'll bring on Brewerton. Stick him forward. Uh, deep lying playmaker for me, please. Sam York. Do we have another sub? Well, no, because we're going to want to bring on a striker, aren't we? Uh, so we're going to want to bring on Allmark to go up top. Um, Alright, goes a pressing forward. 
Uh, so Sam York. Uh, all right, goes a Mozilla for me, Mr. York. See what you can do f up there. And that is that. Um, that's fine. Counter press. Uh, go and get them, boys. And yeah, there we go. See if we, can, if you know, maybe a change in formation can help us here. Oh, it's so disappointing, isn't it? Um, the first half was decent. Maybe I should have been a little bit nicer to them at half time, but the individual match ratings weren't great. But yeah, we've just been a little bit outclassed again. Can we go and get a late consolation? We've got about 90 seconds to go in stoppage time. Uh, here we go. Dixon brings it forward. A little bit of space for him. He goes wide there. No for Jenkins. It's another poor pass. And yeah, it's just, I don't know what it is when we play. I mean, obviously we're playing against better opposition. But we look, we don't, we don't look the same team, do we? We look, we look rushed. We don't look like we can pass to each other. Dixon, there's a better ball out there for Adam Maurice. What can he do here? Blocked away. And, I mean, 3-0 would be harsh. Swifty has that. Lumps it forward again. Maurice tries to flick on. Juventus pick it up. And, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if we need another rethink. I don't know if I've been a little bit too ambitious this season, perhaps. I mean, last year we looked rock solid at the back, didn't we? But I think we also had a bit of an easier group. Is that going to be another red card? No, it's Dudzinski and he's going to get away with that one. Blow it up, ref. We've had enough. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't really know how to, what to do here to try and get something going <laughs> until we've got get stuck in on. Is that actually, that might be a suspension for Jackman, which is maybe a little bit silly. Is he on a booking coming? No, no, it's first yellow card, so he's fine. Um, there it is. Well, we gave them, we gave them more of a game there, didn't we? Um, I mean, you look back at that chance that Callum Connolly had in the first half that would have put us 1-0 up, and that, that looks as though it was very important in the end, doesn't it? If we go one nil up, then you know we've got something to hang on to, and it could be it could be a different a different game there. So Island Boss Benitez is looking at Rima Miles, and he hasn't been capped yet, has he? No, and also Swifty, who is yet to be capped as well. Um, so hopefully those guys will get a call up. We might be just starting to move a little bit past Swifty too here, mightn't we? Um, he's wanted by some clubs, so it might be it might be one for January where maybe we look to move him on. Um, Again, it's sort of it's useful in January if we can kind of build for the next season so that we have uh, the players in place. Quick look at the table, and that hurts us now, doesn't it? It's setting up as though the last game of the season, of the season, the last game of the group, we go away to Besiktas, and that's looking increasingly as a game we're going to have to win um, to get anything out of to get to get out of the group because it's um, yeah, Real Madrid at home next is going to be tough. Uh, but that will be next episode. If you have enjoyed that, guys, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. If you have any thoughts on what we could maybe look to do, um, yeah, let me know. I'm thinking against Real Madrid, maybe we do go back to being a lot more defensive and just try and hang on for a point at home. And then we go to Besiktas with something to play for. Perhaps, hopefully, Juventus will beat them. Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed this, do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, and we'll come back next time for... Oh, do we come back for New Saints? And we haven't seen them yet, have we? Uh, no, because we'll play them in the split. So we'll come back for Carmarthen Town at home. Look at this run of home games we have here. Uh, so we'll come back for Carmarthen Town at home, Real Madrid at home, and see how we do. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.